Case IH have just launched their brand new A9000 sugarcane harvester with some pretty major upgrades from the previous A8000 series. Dramatically improved fuel efficiency, some significant hydraulic changes, as well as new state-of-the-art automation technologies. Let's take a look at the four key area changes, cab, technology, hydraulics, and engine. <laughs> before with the A8000 series we have two primary models the A9000 which is the wheeled version and then we have the A9900 which is the tracked version both have joystick or steering wheel control options both with standard or three-piece cutter leg options and both with 1880 millimeter track centers all major changes discussed here can be found on both models except for the track improvements, which obviously are just for the A9900 version. So kicking things off, we have some considerable changes inside and out of the cab. The first being the multi-function handle, which has had some considerable ergonomic design changes. Buttons moved, shapes changed for a more intuitive operation. The center console has also had a revamp too, swapping out the bank of momentary switches with some sleek and ergonomic buttons, as well as some added functions for quick and easy adjustment. The lighting packages have also been dramatically updated with LEDs of course replacing the old halogen lights, as well as a new safety light timer function when exiting the machine. Finally, to top it all off, we have some more USB ports. Stop the world, I'm getting off. Oh yes, it couldn't be a new Case H machine without some new tech. Top of the list is the new automation system, Feed Rate Control. This takes into account a base cutter and chopper pressure to estimate harvesting load. If a potential choke is detected, then base cutter, chopper and roller pressures are all automatically adjusted to prevent any costly damage being caused. Auto Harvest Disengage is another new bit of tech which will automatically disengage harvesting functions if the chopper pressure is below 80 bar for more than 60 seconds, automatically saving you fuel. Another big tech change, but not just limited to the A9000, is of course the new AFS Connect technology. So the sugarcane harvesters finally get the new modem and connectivity treatment. A new level of connectivity, harvesting some seriously powerful data, pun intended. And then, a nice little touch, the Pro 700 has also seen some refreshments and some updates with improved resolutions and some jazzy new icons. 700 is such a good screen. It's no secret that this is where John Deere's flagship CH570 harvester had the edge over the previous A8000 series. Or at least, if it was a secret, it isn't now. My bad. Awkward. But KSH have made some pretty huge changes to the hydraulic system, like pretty major as in completely different. The most considerable being the old type gear pumps being replaced with new variable displacement piston pumps for majority of harvest functions. The piston pumps allow for higher operating pressures as well as a significant improvement in hydraulic efficiency which inevitably leads to a lower total cost of ownership in terms of parts and fuel, as well as allowing some of those new automation features. KSH have also now changed to a bolting type hydraulic tank to match their new modular system on the new A9000 series chassis, greatly improving its flexibility as well as serviceability. More power, less fuel, longer life. That is the Cursor 11 engine. The A9000 has been treated to an FPT, which is Case H's sister company, Cursor 11, 11 litre engine upgrade. Damn. A significant step up from the previous A8000's Cursor 9, 9 litre engine, adding some serious market dominance with its specification. Rated power is now at 310 kilowatts at a lower 1800 rpm versus john deere's ch570 engine which is rated at 261 kilowatts at 2000 rpm 
Max power tops out at 343 kilowatts at 1700 RPM for the A9000. Versus again, the CH570 at 298 kilowatts. The new Curse 11 engine also means that the A9000 is available with some additional emission standard options. So now we have tier zero, tier three, and stage five, depending on the market that you are in compared to the A8000 series, which was tier three only. Finally, from a cost saving perspective, the engine life is almost doubled with support for a higher biodiesel blend as well. Between the new engine and the hydraulic system, the overall fuel economy of this machine has dramatically improved in comparison to the A8000, industry leading. KSH have clearly set a new benchmark in the sugarcane industry with the A9000 harvester. If there are any additional specifics you would like to know about the A9000 machine, just leave a comment. We have all the goss. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.